All right, welcome back to Pagoda. I'm American John. I'm British Sam. And I'm South African Chantal. And today we're going to talk about uh, some Korean English that we need to be translating to common English. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Tonglish. Yeah, for example, Sam. Oh, yeah, what's up? I need a man to man. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I don't need one. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Yeah, like, what did you guys think? Have you heard man to man before? Yep. I have. I was mm -hmm. super confused. <laughs> yeah, man to man. I thought it was like bromance. Okay. Like, we need we a man a to man. <laughs> like, something on. like that. I thought it's like a person to person or one to one ah. conversation. I was mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. is something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever used man to man in a normal conversation in English before? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you use it as? Um, like, in a kind of confrontation setting, yes. oh, okay. like we need yeah. a we need to talk about this man to man. Yes. Uh, you yeah. know when you, yeah. when you're confronting yeah. someone. That's exactly what we do in the U.S. too. It's right. a man to man, like me, a guy talking to another guy about a serious issue. Mm. Man right. to man. Mm. <laughs> a, a man to man would be called, I think, a sweater or a jumper. Right. Uh, mm. For you, a non hooded jumper. Right. Okay, so not a hoodie, but mm. just just a just normal, a normal jumper. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, but that g brings us to the category of shopping in general. Mm. And I know you had a good one for this one. Right. I've had some people talk about eye shopping. Mm. Are we going to the optometrist? <laughs> <laughs> the Do you need a new pair of eyes? <laughs> some more eye tests, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, and yes, it's actually mm. window shopping. Yes. yes. So eye shopping, window shopping. Yeah. That's what window it is. Window shopping. I, uh, when I first heard that, I was like, man, I could I could do with a bit of eye shopping because I have really bad eyesight. <laughs> and I need some 2020 vision here. Give me I'm some half there. blind. Yeah, I just can't see, guys. You like, just I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. So have you heard eye shopping? Before? Yeah, many times. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I've accidentally said it as well, oh, which really? is very embarrassing. Um, anyways, the other one, I was watching Jimmy Fallon uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there was a very popular K-pop band who I will not say the name of because I'm very afraid of their fans. Oh my. Okay, <laughs> one of the members mm -hmm. said panty. Uh -huh. That he was wearing panties. Oh, he? He was wearing panties when the other <laughs> members first met him. Oh, that's awkward. Yes, but if you heard a guy saying he wears panties. Oh, like, you know, you do you, man. <laughs> like, you do you, like, whatever no suits you. Judgment. Yeah, I'm not judging. <laughs> Wear whatever you want to wear. Just don't take my panties. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. So, uh, what is a panty? It's ladies' underwear. Ladies' underwear. That underwear. Is underwear. underwear. Yeah, <laughs> only for ladies' underwear. Yeah. Um, so, panty for men would just be called like what? Pan I think we call them underwear. You call them underwear. We call them uh, pants. Yeah. Going. South Africa would kind of identify it more like jocks or or mm -hmm. boxes. Oh, yes. boxes. We use that yes. as well. Yeah. Like tight-fitting oh, ones. So. so, yeah, instead of saying, I'm wearing panties, or instead of that, he should have said, I was wearing underwear, mm. Mm -hmm. or I was wearing um, pants. 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 Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Underwear is unisex, right? Yes, I think, I think so. Yeah. so. Yes. Yeah, you can use underwear for both men yeah. and women. Yeah. And then something that sometimes girls wear. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know this one. Right. Go ahead and introduce this one. One piece. Mm -hmm. oh. um, when I heard that, I thought it's a onesie or a jumpsuit. You know, a jumpsuit oh, is one yeah. piece, basically. Mm -hmm. And actually, my Korean teacher mentioned it. And oh. I was like, a what? Like, I was thinking something else. And then she said, dress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh. one piece is usually a dress. Right. Yeah. Okay. What did you think one piece was? I thought it was the, the Japanese animation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For me, in America, we usually say one-piece bathing suit. So oh. when I heard of a one-piece, I just thought it was a type of bathing suit. Yes. Usually yeah. women wear, that's but true, of course that's men could true. too. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So one-piece? <laughs> dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what you, would a good sentence be for that? Well, I bought myself a new dress, or mm -hmm. I'm wearing my favorite dress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just, you would really confuse people if you said one piece. They wouldn't know you mean dress. Exactly. Yeah. This is one of my uh, more favorite ones because it includes free food. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> when I first um, heard this word, it was a bit confusing to me 
because usually when we hear the word service, yeah. we do not think of like free items. Mm -mm. We do not think of anything given to you. It's rather something you pay for to fix something or yep. mm. something like that or to get some benefit from an mm. employee. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, have you guys heard the word Sobisa. Oh, yeah, many oh, times, yes. Yes. especially in restaurants, yes, right? yes, all yes. the time. Uh -huh. But yeah, like you said, it's mm -hmm. something you pay for mm -hmm. um, and you get something back for it. Mm -hmm. So it's it was kind of odd to hear it in a restaurant. Like they they put out uh -huh. the keranjin, mm -hmm. they're like, service. And I was like, huh? What? Do I have to do something for <laughs> it? I, I was really exactly. confused in the beginning. Yeah. But yeah. it's great. Like <laughs> Yeah, I'm really glad you gave me this, but what service am I having to do for you? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, because it sounds more like a request, like service. Yeah, so yeah. Give me service. Do I need to fix your toilet? Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I want this kid on gym, can, do I need to like wash the dishes? <laughs> <Yeah>. Or <laughs> how about you? Um, what was your first experience? The first experience was actually when I just came to Korea 150 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we ordered, I can't remember what we ordered, probably like just normal Korean food mm -hmm. like bibimbap. And the man brought a, an extra dish and he said service. So my friend and I oh. thought, he means we ordered it. And I'm like, no, no, we didn't order this. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. And he's like, service. And my friend are like, no, order. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he understood we probably mm -hmm. don't know what he means. Oh. And then he could speak a little bit of mm -hmm. Korean or That's English. Good. And he said, free. Ah, <laughs> yes. And then I got it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh. Free. Yes. So what would you call that? in South Africa. On the house. On the house. Yeah, on, yes. the house. On, the on the house. house. On the house. Yes. That sounds a bit strange though, doesn't it? On the house. Put, yeah. Put wow. the food on the just house. Just put it on the house. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do in England? Yeah, on the house. On the house. Oh, well, they so just don't give us anything <laughs> for free. <so. laughs> South Africa, we get bread rolls for free, you know, mm. on the house. Oh, but you lucky. You lucky girl. Mm. <laughs> you don't even get bread, like nothing for free. Nothing. I don't know, just some free salt and vinegar with our fish and chips, I okay, guess. Okay, that's important. That's important, okay. <laughs> some malt vinegar. The, the malt vinegar. The salt part, but yeah. Oh, man. I miss uh, yeah, so America is also on the house. Mm. So this is, this is on the house. If you're a waiter or a waitress, yeah. server, you would say, this is on the house, and everyone say, thank you. Mm. However, like England, probably a little bit more, but you don't get almost any on the house items yeah. it's very in, rare. in America, yeah. like at all. It's, <coughs> what happens usually is there's a mistake made. Yeah. They yes. come out and they overcook your steak yeah. or you find a hair or something <laughs> and they say, oh, we'll get you something on the house. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Right, right, right. When yeah. it's been a kind of mess up yes. or exactly. mistake made. Yes. So if same. you go to any of our countries, <laughs> Just realize you're never going to get anything for free unless you complain. <laughs> and then you have to pay more because we have to tip. So oh, it's right. a kind of lose lose. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. <laughs> oh, I thought of another one actually. In the US, you can also say comp a meal. Comp a meal. But that is only for mistakes, not for any sort of uh, on the house. Okay. But when you comp a meal, it means the house or the place that's giving you the meal for free, <coughs> the restaurant, is going to buy it for you. Ah. So it's like, oh, sorry about that hair. We'll comp your meal today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that like short for complimentary? Probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't Something like don't ask me. Yeah, John, what does it mean? <laughs> complimentary. John, yeah, please tell come us. on there. I'm waiting. <laughs> 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 Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Complimentary sounds right. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because if there's something that comes for free, it would sometimes be complimentary as well. Yeah. Oh, in okay. South a complimentary dish. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, if it's complimentary, you know you're mm. not paying for it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so another one I've heard for services, and this I hear a lot, mm. is AS or after service. Mm. Oh, after service. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So when I first heard this, I really did not understand at all. I had to have the student explain it to mm. me, very mm -hmm. detailed, and then I said, oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah you guys have heard it before. Yes, too. my yeah. students mm -hmm. talk about it yeah. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. From students. Yeah. What about your first experience? I was also I was a little mm -hmm. confused, and you know, when I'm confused, I just play the. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like that too. You got to explain. Gotta, you have to. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's You're on the like, table. This yeah. is my <laughs> strategy. You, you, you talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Sam? I just said like what. No, <laughs> about a hundred times. You don't, you don't have any charm. <laughs> no, you, you're just, not like, I just. What do you mean? Straight to the point. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So same here. I don't really hear it 
often either. Mm. In the U.S., we might call it a warranty service. Mm. Yes, um, it's a warranty. But yeah. it's not exactly the same thing. Yeah. I feel like Korea's after service is actually very comprehensive. Mm. Like they give you a lot after you buy the product. Mm -hmm. um, but in the U.S., your warranty is extremely limited. Like if you open the box and it's broken, you have you can use your warranty. Mm. Yeah, it's only then. Yeah, yeah. only then. Oh, if you okay. drop it on the ground, you gotta buy a new one. Yeah, it's always for like mm -hmm. damages and yes. Yes, exactly. a certain time limit of about one exactly. or two years. And you can buy extra warranty too. Oh, oh yeah, but quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I usually do opt for items that have like six, you know, months warranty or one mm -hmm. or two years if it's more expensive ah, okay. items. Yeah. And do yeah. they cover a lot in South Africa? I haven't, I don't have a lot of experience <laughs> using it, so mm. I don't really know. You don't yeah. break anything? You're very careful? I break everything. Well, I, I <laughs> suppose I break it, but then I just buy new ones. <laughs> mm. yeah. It's not too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but you break a lot, Sam, so. I break everything, yeah. Do you use warranties? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. Depends what it is. Usually electronics. Mm. I'm oh, more, yeah, yeah familiar yeah. with uh, having a warranty. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I broke my MacBook <gasps> quite a few times. You see, I think I'm very careful with electronics. That's why I don't have mm -hmm. a lot of yeah. experience in that. Yeah. Yeah, I usually avoid Apple products mm. for that reason of being very oh. clumsy. Oh. And the last one that I want to put out there is one that I actually use almost in everyday life now, and I think America should use, which is the word offline, and usually used in the context of offline store. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because if I heard, when I heard offline, it just means you have no connection to the internet. Mm. So for example, you would say, oh, that computer's offline. Means you can't access the internet on mm -hmm. it. Um, but other than that, either than that, I've never quite heard offline used before. But in this context, yeah, I thought it was mm. interesting. Offline store, what would, what would you think an offline store would be? Um, <laughs> a store that doesn't have internet connection. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're like, no Wi-Fi here? Yeah. I think this is one that I've just mm -hmm. become used to in Korea. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, same. Like, I've just yeah. definitely become used to it. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And now I actually use it. So I think... And now I, I think yeah. it's normal. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. So you've been like, here five years in mm. Korea, right? Are there words that you start to wonder, am I using Konglish or am I using real English? Offline is one of them. Yeah. Offline yeah. is Offline. one of them. Aircon. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, but in South Africa we do say aircon, so yeah. it's not ah, Konglish for me. Okay. Yes, yes. You say remote, remote con? Remote con? Yeah. No. No. Remote control or just <laughs> pass me the remote. <laughs> yeah. I think in, in, in we say air conditioning or AC. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah I, I think we'd say AC too. Yeah. We use aircon and AC. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. But yeah, we would never say purchase things offline. Mm. Just say I purchased it at the store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, exactly. And actually, it's one of the Konglish words that I think English, common English should adopt. Yes. Because uh -huh. I'm like, that's a perfect word mm -hmm. for our right. day and age that's so connected to the internet. Offline just makes yes. complete. When I first mm. heard it, I was like, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I have one more that oh. we, should, we should start using. Pray tell. Sandwich day. Sandwich, sandwich day? day. Sandwich day. You know what sandwich day is? I should know what it is. No, what it's is really it? important. Oh, oh, don't tell them what it is. <laughs> okay, what's sandwich day, Sam? Well, a day where we should eat lots of sandwiches. Of <laughs> oh, that course. sounds amazing, it does but sound no. Good. That really does. <laughs> Explain. I'm surprised you haven't heard it. My students mm. use it a lot. Really? It's the day between the weekend and a public holiday. Oh, okay. Like mm -hmm. if Tuesday is a public mm -hmm. holiday, your Monday is sandwich day. Mm -hmm. And then many companies will give them the sandwich day off. Right, you know. right. Yes. Many companies do. Yes. Some companies Some don't. Some companies, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.